Anyway, <laughs> moving on. This is a new metal band called Mr. Downstairs. Excellent new metal band. Uh, I like the song In Its Place. They have a song called Blue Balls. Can't go wrong with that. Pretty hard to find, too. I think I got this on Discogs for... I think it was factory sealed when I got my copy. Where are these guys from? I think New York. There's a live set you can find of these guys in horrible quality, but it's really good. You got lyrics, band members. I don't have the second album, unfortunately. But, I do have their EP. This is actually pretty hard to find too. Preconception. And I actually prefer the material in this more than the e album. I posted this online. When I first got it, it, it played horribly. So I had to put, um, what you call it? alcohol in it and then it played perfectly I don't think there's anything in the... no, there's not I like the song uh, Operation Rescue, that's a great song like how it has a little sperm on the cover, that's funny The first Linkin Park album, Hybrid Theory. Classic from front to back. I mean, of course, that's the song Crawling in My Skin. With You is a great song, One Step Closer. In the End, uh, Place for My Head is a great song, too. That's an old school turntable on the back. Yeah, rest in peace, Chester. He was pretty, pretty amazing vocalist. I don't know if, as of this recording, I'm not sure if Lincoln Park are ever going to reunite or not with a new singer. It's really, really, really hard to tell because Mike's like, I don't know. Even Mike doesn't even know. So we'll just have to see. If they don't continue, though, uh, I wouldn't blame them. But if they do, I'm kind of curious where that would go. Where's the? Fr I don't know where the second album is, but I do have the first album by Liquid Game, Nineteenth Soul. Honestly, a lot more hard rock oriented than new metal than what their second album would be like, but still really good. It's on Gotham Records. It was only twenty five cents. If you like late nineties hard rock oriented kind of music, you'll like this band. But if you like if you are more familiar with their new metal stuff like Blood Force Trauma, I recommend the second album. This is the soundtrack to Saturday Night Fever. This is my brother's. Because he was obsessed with Saturday Night Fever. He like whole, named the whole soundtrack for muscle memory. It's a good Sound, album of its era, you know, all the disco stuff, should be dancing, cool in the gang, Bee Gees, uh, Casey and the Sunshine Band, it's John Travolta. I have a DVD copy of the PG version of the movie, which they only released on VHS. 
buy a burned copy of it. And also on this album on vinyl. It's like in very good condition too. Because most copies of that album I saw on vinyl were always thrashed, so. <laughs> Oh, um, remember when I mentioned Janet O'Lyra? Uh, before she started doing kids' music, she did, like, mainly Christian music. Like, she did Christian kids' music, but this is, uh, simply just regular gospel Christian music. Like, this is her first CD, I think, from, yeah, 1989. But this is the 1998 reissue pretty good yeah I'm not the biggest Christian music fan either but you know it's good to have I think I got this from her via mail should have asked her to sign it if I beat her again I'll get her to sign it ah from one of the blue collar comedy troupe Bill Ingvall now that's awesome my friend Michael introduced me to Bill Engvall and um, he's really good I heard he retired recently oh no that was Ron White uh, he was I think of the four Bill Engvall was he had a kind of a redneck feel to his comedy but at the same time it was also kind of like different from the three Sort of. I think he was a little more clever, too. And I still like Bill Engvall. He doesn't do much these days, though. You don't really hear about him anymore. Kind of a shame, because I really do like Bill Engvall. He's a pretty funny guy. There's your sign. Hollywood trip. Oh, this is a Hollywood trip that me and my uncle and my brother went on back in 2015 but this is kind of cool uh, this is um, a DVD well it's really a DVD data disc of Robot Jones uh, whatever happened to Robot Jones that cartoon from Cartoon Network this has episodes with the original robot voice before they changed it to um, Bobby Block I really like Robot Jones. That was a really good show. One of the last of the classic, very classic era Cartoon Network. I wish they would bring it back. Hey, with, um, checkered, you know, that checkered, you know, block on Adult Swim, they might. Hopefully. I have the actual soundtrack, but this is a soundtrack sound sampler of Elf that came with the Blu-ray my brother got. It's got five songs. I just bought the soundtrack eventually after. But I do like Elf. It's a really good movie. I actually just watched it not that long ago. Oh, it's a classic. Foo Fighters. There is nothing left to lose. Uh, from 1999. I think this is the first album with Taylor as their drummer. Or just... Or... Uh, yeah, Taylor. This is probably my favorite Foo Fires album. Probably has the catchiest songs. What was the... What was the song I really liked off this? Uh, Generator, probably. Yeah, I think that's my favorite song off that album. The original Friday soundtrack. This is a good um, compilation of rap songs. Friday, Ice Cube, Dr. Dre, Keep Their Heads Ringing, Cypress Hill, Mac 10, Rick James, that's a great song. Two Live Crew. I love the original movie Friday, so I had to get the soundtrack.
shame they never made Friday 4 though. That will always piss me off. But, you know, knowing how sets are comedy kind of is today. It probably wouldn't have happened regardless, but I still would have liked, liked to see a Friday 4. But, never will happen now. Whatever. Oh, I got this for Christmas years ago. This is As Seen on TV. Uh, why did someone rip As on it? I don't know. This, so I do have a kid's bop album. 2005? Wow. What is this? Boulevard Broken Dreams. Take Me Out Since You've Been Gone. Uh, this is when Kids Bop was kind of tolerable. <laughs> and then it... It was like, oh... They, they want to, I think now they're like trying to, or at least when they were later years, they were like trying to make singers into the kids rather than it be kind of like regular kids kind of doing their own singing. They were like, oh, let's make them famous. Let's like make them starful. Kind of weird. And here's a DVD of the first season of Whatever Happened to Robot Jones. I think it has the complete show on... No, this is just season one. Uh, I remember it was a big deal when it... Because um, you couldn't find the entire show on DVD. And then fans happened to record the show. On regular DVD and... Uh, it was kind of a big deal, so... I really like the show, and if you haven't seen Whatever Happened to Robot Jones, definitely, definitely, definitely check that show out. Oh, this is my friend's band on a DV, uh, there are pictures of that show. Uh, Jonah of VeggieTales movies, four fun songs from the movie. This came with the VHS tape I got at Goodwill. Uh, I think... Do I have the soundtrack? I don't think so. I do have the movie on DVD, though. Whatever that means. <laughs> yeah, just a promotional. Uh, a lot of people say Jonah was like the last cool VeggieTales thing because it was like really the last Jonah or VeggieTales related thing made in the original studio, so I guess that makes sense. And I do miss classic VeggieTales. It's not the same anymore. Yeah, I think my brother... Oh no, you know what? My brother got this. I was wondering why I had this. This is uh, a Nirvana compilation which has songs from the first three albums plus and plugged. Eh, Nirvana are just alright, I guess. Pretty overrated band. I honestly prefer Hole over Nirvana. That's just me, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is a band called AC. And this is their a compilation of their noise core stuff called the Old Testament. 1988 to 1991. This is freaking hard to find. And I got this for like... Uh... Five bucks? Ten bucks? And I looked it up online and it's like going over for 70, 80 bucks. So, I got a good deal. This is like their really early like noise core stuff. Uh, either like it or you don't. I, I enjoy AC for what they are. They're funny. They intended to piss people off, and, you know, I commend them for that. What is this? This goes out to all to our fans who have been there since the since this shit was originally recorded, and to all the new fans who weren't even born yet then. Seth Putnam, who passed away 
shortly after this compilation came out. A Relapse Records compilation or um, ad Seth Putnam, rest in peace. He was the OG troll. I respect that. Some old pictures of the early AC stuff. Can't show that picture. Very hard to find. If you could get it for a good price, pick this up because AAC on CD is pretty tough to find. And let me put this back. Anyway, I was friends with this guy on Facebook for a long time. He's a pretty nice guy. I think I still might be. This is a guy called Armin, New Style, New Sound. I forgot where this dude was from, but I found his album at um, Goodwill for, like, Sealed. It's kind of like... I don't want to say Turkish... Maybe Armenian. I I could be wrong. Kind of like pop music, and it isn't bad. It's kind of weird, though, in a good way. But I like it. I like the song "New Style, New Sound." He's a nice guy. I think I wished him a happy birthday once or twice. And last but not least, for this part we have Aerosmith, Get a Grip, 1993. This is my dad's copy. Uh, what is this song? Let's see, Living on the Edge is a good song. Crying is a great song. Crazy is a great song. I like Aerosmith. They're pretty good. From Massachusetts. Take the booklet out. Steven. I heard. Oh. No. Shame they're calling it quits, but you know what? After 50 years, they deserve retirement. Anyway, that's uh, part 24 of the CD collection. We got a little bit more to go, a lot ways to go, so. Thanks for, thanks for sticking by and uh, see you in the next part.